fatal accident shut down the Armstrong tunnel for hours this morning. It also knocked out the power at an intersection right outside the tunnel. Amy Wattis has the very latest from police about what led up to that accident. More than eight hours after this crash, the traffic lights at the intersection of 2nd Avenue and 10th Street are still out. But the big question tonight, how did that woman lose control this morning? The SUV 57-year-old Barbara Ann McMillan was driving was a mangled mess following a crash inside the Armstrong Tunnel. It was so bad you could see the engine from McMillan's vehicle sitting on the street. McMillan was from the South Side Flats and somehow lost control inside the Armstrong Tunnel on the inbound side around 9:45 this morning and crashed her SUV into the wall. She was the only person inside the vehicle and no other cars were involved in the crash. Firefighters tried to revive McMillan, but she was pronounced dead on scene. Debris was scattered all over both lanes of the tunnel. That's because a utility box that controls the traffic lights at the 2nd Avenue and 10th Street intersection, which is right outside the tunnel, was struck during the crash, knocking out power to the lights. The SUV was towed from the scene a few hours after the crash, and investigators from the collision investigation unit remained on scene, trying to piece together what happened. Investigators spoke to witnesses, but we still don't know how this crash happened. As for these traffic lights, the lights inside of the tunnel were not affected. It is unclear how long it will be before crews are able to get these lights turned back on. It's only going to be until after that utility box is repaired and Duquesne light will be out here and then repair the traffic lights. In the meantime, though, commuters are going to have to use this four way stop until those lights are fixed. Reporting outside of the Armstrong Tunnel, Amy Wattis, KDKA News.